Hello and welcome to this video that I am making. Um, I know for some time now, especially after the recent patch, there's been a game called Spiral Knights that um, whenever some people have gone to load it, um, they'll get, they can make it to this page where they can select their character. Um, but once they go into play a mission or something, uh, for an example, they'll get stuck at a loading screen, kind of like the one that you just saw. Um, and so I found a way to fix it, um, and it has to do with your local files of Spiral Knights. Um, but first we have to go over to there's a link that I'll put up in the description, and it's for this Java Development Kit 8. Uh, the 8 just means version 8, and that's the version that it will fix uh, the problem. It's either version 8 or version 6. Um, most people will be running some form of Windows 64. If you're not, there is a Windows X68 version here. You can download, but for the majority of people, Windows 64 is going to be what you're going to want. You're just going to click on this link. It'll download. <laughs> um, and once it's done downloading, uh, we can go over to our downloads folder and we could run that. It'll be right here. So we'll get this pop up. It's fine. Uh, you'll run through it. You'll download it. Normally it doesn't take very long. Um, the one thing about Spiral Knights is that <clears throat> it is an older game, and so it's not built to run on the newest versions of Java that we have today. Like I think right now we're up to version 24. Um, so you can see that this it is a little dated system, uh, which is fine, and that's okay. But once we have that done, um, you're going to want to go to this PC, um, local disk. You're going to come here to program files. Uh, we will use both program files and program files x86. Uh, we'll, we will get to that later. Um, then you're going to come down here to Java. And then, so I've done this a couple times, and so that's why you see that there are a bunch of different um, uh, version 8 things here. Uh, but the one that we want ends in 231. It's a JRE 1.8.0 underscore 231. And what you're going to do is you're going to come hop into that folder. Actually, what we will do is we're just going to copy that entire folder just to make it easy. Um, then we're going to go back to our local disk, and we're going to go to Program Files x86. This is where it's going to get a little complicated for some people, because there are certain people that have walked through this process that have different drives um, for games and, and stuff like that. So your Spiral Knights folder might be in a different location than what I'm showing you. So just a heads up, keep that in mind. Um, but if you only have one drive, your program files are going to be in the same place. It's going to be local disk, x86, you're going to go to Steam, so you're going to go to Steam Apps, Common, right here at the top, you're going to click on Spiral Lights. Now I will just um, delete this one, Java underscore VM. 
uh, just for the sake of what we are doing today. Uh, normally, when you come into your folder, this is what it's going to look like. It's gonna, you're going to see all of these different files, folders, things like that. What you're looking for is this Java VM folder. Um, when you download the game, um, it downloads, I think, it'll download all of the updated versions of everything. And so it's probably downloading Java um, in its new uh, version 24. And so when that happens, um, for some reason there, it downloads the wrong, well, it doesn't download the wrong folder. It downloads the folders that they're, have intended to be downloaded. Um, but the issue lies in this folder here. It's Java VM. I apologize for that little hiccup there. My daughter's in the background. Uh, but what you're going to do is you're going to change it to backup. Uh, just in case the new fix doesn't work. Um, we want it to be able to have this backup folder just in case so that... Because some people can still play the game, um, but they can't just play the game well. And so, in any case where this fix that we're going to try to implement doesn't work, we want to have that backup folder just in case. So then we don't have to worry about um, having to go re-download the game just to be able to be able to play it again. Um, but when you copy and paste it, it'll probably pop up here in the bottom. If you want it to be up here in the top, you can just back up, go back into the folder, and it will show right there. It's JRE 1.8.0 underscore 231. Um, you're going to rename that to what the above folder used to be, which is Java underscore VM. That should fix all of the issues that you're experiencing. It doesn't take very long, um, and it's frustratingly easy. It just takes a little bit of research that I took, and I was struggling to get my wife to be able to play the game, to be able to play the game without crashing. I have a second computer, my laptop, I was having the same problem with, and I couldn't even load into the game on my laptop. But after this fix, I've been able to play the game without any hiccups. I have heard reports that there are some people that I've walked through this process that still have it crash a little bit here and there, um, but it is drastically less than the amount of crashing that they were experiencing prior to implementing the fix. So until Spiral Knights figures out wherever the problem is, as far as I know personally, this is the best fix for that. Um, and Spiral Knights should just pop up like normal once you run it. Um, and you should just be able to load into the game without any issues. Especially with this new event that they put out, the Shroud of Apocrya. Um, I've heard a lot of people have been crashing while they're loading into uh, the plateau where you collect all the tokens and things like that. Which can be very frustrating for people, especially because... People that have experienced or played through the event, you know what happens during there. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody in case anybody really wanted to know. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do hope that it is helpful. Um, I know some people have been experiencing issues like this, and I wanted to put something out there in the Spiral Knights community so that I can try to help people who are experiencing this problem. Um, so I really hope this helps, and if 
you're seeing this on YouTube, go ahead and like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. I may be doing more tutorial videos like this, or I may just try to stream Spiral Knights because I recently got back into the game and I do actually quite enjoy it. So I may try to take that up, but I'm unsure at this moment. Uh, thank you for watching.